And joining me now is our international affairs editor, Philip Turrell. So, Philip, we're hearing some, maybe not conflicting messages, but some confusing messages from the government on this. What can we ascertain? Has the morality police been suspended? Well, conflicting messages actually from the man himself, the Attorney General, uh, Mohammed Jafar uh, Montazeri, within the last half an hour. There's been a report in Middle East Eye that uh, he has rode back on what he said, saying that um, the morality police has not been abolished uh, and that has uh, that there's no confirmation that they are going to be done away with, which is opposite of what he was basically saying um, earlier, where he was uh, saying two things. In fact, the morality police have nothing to do with the judiciary and have been abolished. And the second thing he said was that both the parliament and the judiciary are working on the issue of whether the law requiring women to cover their heads needs to be changed. And there would be uh, a ruling issued on that within the next couple of weeks. So this is a very confusing message coming out of uh, Iranian leadership. There is a split, of course, between the judiciary on one side, which is represented by uh, Mohammed Jaffa Montazeri and the Iranian leadership. Uh, there's been no confirmation from them that the mor morality police is going to be disbanded. And even the Iranian press today, the uh, conservative press in the country, has remained tight-lipped about what is going on. No mention of the morality police uh, being done away with. But there is another statement coming out, if that wasn't enough, to also confuse matters. That's from the Iranian president, Ibrahim Raisi, who uh, earlier said Iran's Republican and Islamic foundations are con constitutionally entrenched, but there are methods of implementation that can be flexible. So I think what this boils down to here, Monty, is maybe the Iranian leadership is getting the jitters over these protests and is thinking about coming up with some kind of olive branch, if you like, for the protesters. OK, we will do away with the morality police if you stop protesting and we will discuss the future of the hijab in the country if you will stop protesting. For the moment, it doesn't look as though uh, that is going to have that desired effect. If there is an olive branch such as uh, such as abolishing the morality police, would that lead to an end uh, to the protests? Well, if you listen to what the protesters have been saying, now you have to remember that since these protests started back in September, there have been uh, reports of up to uh, 450 people being killed in Iran, many of them uh, children and a lot of them women women as well. Uh, the protesters are angry and they say, well, look, this has gone beyond the hijab. This is not just the issue anymore. This is an issue against the regime in Iran. We want that regime gone. We want the regime out of the way. We want an end to corruption in the country. We want Iran to be a normal country without that regime running the country and being in charge. And I think that is where the difference now remains. Many of these protesters feel that they don't have anything to lose. They're going out on the streets. We have news of a general strike today. There are shops which are closed around the country in several major cities. Uh, that's all being fed on social media in Iran. Uh, I think that what we're seeing here is a shift in the way these protests are being perceived in the country itself, whereas they were just a protest against the hijab and for women. Now they're being seen much more as a general protest against the regime, against the way the country is being run. And many people saying this regime has been in, ch in charge far too long since 1979. We want it gone. We want something else. And we're going to carry on protesting until that happens. OK, our international affairs editor, Philip Turrell. Uh, Philip, thanks as always.